Sorry we're late, you guys. So sorry. sorry. I couldn't get her out of Starbucks. She had to get a skinny chai latte. <laughs> the ancient art of yoga dates back centuries to nearly 5,000 years ago and entered the Western world around the turn of the 20th century. And while there are many forms of yoga that have entered the scene, not much has changed. Oh my God, Ashley, sorry I'm late. Oh, you're good, hello, how are you? So when I got a call from my friend Ashley Iconetti to partner up for a yoga class, knowing that's not really her thing, I knew it had to be unique. This might be the most challenging yoga you've ever done. I know that Johnny is so into challenges. Bring on the competition. And if he's ready to take on a real challenge, this is the thing for him. The girl who is going to be our instructor, she is really militant. This is not what I signed up for. If you don't like it halfway through, you can walk out. I'm totally making all this up. Welcome yourself into the space, and then exhale, bring your hands to heart center and Andrea Mudra. Good, one more time, deep inhale, lengthen through the fingertips, expand front to back and back to front, and then exhale. Let the pressure build, and then open the mouth and sigh it out and let it go. Feel the vibrations, reverberate through your body. Today we are doing goat yoga. It's not goat cheese. Uh <laughs> In the middle of a regular yoga class, little baby goats run in and help you with positions. Oh my god, what is that? Who's on me? <laughs> There's animals on. There's a goat on a goat. <laughs> One moment I'm in child's pose, and the next moment I'm in upward goat position. Welcome to goat yoga. Yeah! What's up, guys? That's burlap giving you smooches. Oh my god. Up. Open the throat. Come here, Burlap. And then exhale. That's Billy. And then round through the spine. Johnny, did you ever imagine? Just undulating, no. undulating the spine. I think Johnny was definitely surprised. Am I high right now? What? Oh, that's a hoof in the crack. What exactly is the purpose of these goats serving here? To connect to your inner child. Oh, yeah. To engage your core. They're natural climbers. So you become their playground. It's just very natural for them. This is like goat yoga and acupuncture at the same time. Take a moment here to gather yourself and plant your hands and step, step back into a downward facing dog. So if, if yoga is all about channeling your inner self, how do you do that when you're being distracted by goats? Life's all about distractions. We have lots of external noises always around us. And sometimes we just have to try and quiet the mind in our space. Okay, yep. Life is too serious. I could not agree more. Good. Do I have to worry about the goats um, relieving themselves? Um, what do you mean by worrying? Um, I mean, like, are they going to poop on my mat? Um, winner! <laughs> She's the big winner! I've always wanted an animal to poop next to me, so actually, <laughs> today's my lucky day. Animals are traditionally used for therapy reasons. Do you think that goat yoga makes people feel different? Definitely. Have you been smiling? Yes. Have you felt lighter and buoyant? Yes. I have. <laughs> Definitely. You know what? It's the goats. <laughs> what other type of uh, animals could you use? I do uh, cat yoga at the No Kill Shelter so that cats can be adopted. <gasps> cat yoga? Cat yoga. Lengthen through the side body. Good, and then exhale. Now goats, do they eat bananas? Oh, they love bananas. You kids are in luck. It just so happens that I have a banana chip for you. Oh. <laughs> I'm crunching. Ah! Okay. You have to give it to me. No, I'm not going to do it. What I learned is goat yoga is great for the body, great for rehab. So what I say is down with dope, up with goats. Bring your hands to heart center one last time. With gratitude for Billy and Burlap bringing such joy into our lives. Such joy. Namaste. Or Bahamaste.